This is James Flaskamp, digital learning coach at Independence High School in Frisco, Texas, and this is how to use a Genially SCORM package in Canvas in five minutes. So the question you may have on your mind is, what is SCORM and how does it make a Genially work different with Canvas? Well, in the past, you can embed or link a Genially in Canvas, but there was no way for students to save their progress on the Genially, and there was no way for you as a teacher to easily keep track of student progress through the Genially. So with this new SCORM function, though, Genially and Canvas become integrated, so you and your students can do both of those things very, very easily. If that sounds good to you, here's how to set it up. Okay, so we're starting here in Genially and this is a breakout that I created for the Lindbergh kidnapping uh, for a social studies class last year. And so it's rather lengthy. It has 105 pages. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty lengthy. Uh, so it takes some time for students to work through this. And what I want is for my students to have the capability of, um, you know, stopping and coming back to this and not having to complete the whole thing in one session. And I, as a teacher, want to be able to know their percentage of progress through the presentation. So I know when my students are finished um, and I'm going to award a grade for this, a completion grade for it. So that's kind of the setup for this. So here's how it's going to work. So we're going to go up to the menu and we're going to choose download SCORM package. Now notice this is a premium feature. So if you don't have a master level account or above, then you're either going to want to upgrade or you're going to want to work with uh, or collaborate with someone who has a master level account like a coach or a colleague. So download the SCORM package and 100% is good and we'll click ready. Now it takes a moment to download. Okay, so once the SCORM package is ready, we can click the download button and it'll take another few moments to download the zip file, which you're going to import into your course. So now's when we're gonna switch over to our Canvas course. Now I'm importing this directly into my yearly or shell course, but you can also do this into a blueprint and then sync it over. It works the same way and I've tested it both ways, so it works fine. Um, so the first thing you wanna do, and you're probably gonna have to do this, is you need to enable SCORM in your course and you need to do this course by course. So if you do need to do that, you go into settings, and you go to navigation and then you just scroll down find where SCORM is down here and you need to just drag it up here into the active section okay once you've done that click save and now you'll see that you have SCORM in your navigation on the left so I'm gonna click on SCORM and here is the screen on Canvas where you will actually upload that uh, Genially SCORM file. Okay, so you see I've done a couple of uploads already here. I'll just clear those out of the way to make room for our new one that's coming in. And so we're going to go up here and we're going to click the Upload button. And we're going to choose our Genially SCORM package that we just downloaded. And it's going to take a moment to upload. Once it's finished uploading, you will have this drop down menu to choose your import type. I would like this to be a graded assignment, so I'm going to import it as a graded assignment. Uh, you can preview it, delete it, uh, or click the go button, which is what I'm going to do now. And now it is imported as a graded assignment. Yay! Okay, so. When I go to my assignment section here in my course, I'm now going to see the uh, Lindbergh investigation assignment listed here at the bottom of this module. Notice by default it's not published, so I'm going to go ahead and publish it. And so now it's ready for my students to access. Now let me show you what this looks like from the student perspective. Okay, so here I am as one of the students in my course. Uh, I'm going to click on assignments or go wherever I need to go to access the assignment, however you do your navigation in your course. Um, and then I'm going to scroll down to our investigating the crime of the century and click on that. And this takes me to the Genially, which will load automatically here in this window. And we're going to have the option once it loads to uh, make it full screen or just work with it here in the um, in this page okay so um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just full screen it for a moment and I'll start working through the progress so I'll advance a couple slides here okay looks good okay and I'll stop right here so let's say that's how far that student gets in the Genially in a given class period okay well now as the teacher you can go into speed grader and you'll see when I open up that student's progress, there's a little check mark indicating that they have at least opened the Genially. And there you go, look at that. They are 4% finished with the Genially. So it does automatically assign this grade uh, based on the percentage that the student has completed. Now, going back to the student angle, let's see what they see when they try to go back into the Genially. 
Okay, so I'm back in the student view. I'm gonna go back into assignments. And I'm going to go back to investigating the crime of the century. And notice it does show me my progress as the student that I'm 4% finished. And when I click back into it, here's the cool thing. It doesn't start at the beginning of the Genially anymore. Now it starts right where I left off. So it keeps track of my progress. So there we go. I am on the same page where I was before. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. For more great digital learning content, subscribe to my channel. This is James the DLC, signing off.